live from the all-new Legend Studio in Ottawa, Tennessee. It's Tropical Country with B-Dog and Lou, right here on Tiki Man Radio. Uh-oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Hump Day! One rowdy cowboy throw down here in H Town, where we're stronger than a hurricane. From miles around, the best of the best come here to put their tough to the test. Give it all for gold or go home broke when they open up that gate. Welcome to the show, welcome to the home of the world's biggest rodeo, where the stars light up the night underneath that Texas sky. Welcome to the show, are you ready for a ride? Yeah, you better buckle up and hold on tight Where the Bayou City streets meet the country roads Welcome to the show It's a Houston tradition 4-H, FFA, and go Texan And you can bet, son, it's gonna be around a long, long time these riders and ropers give it their best We'll show them how loud the hometown crowd can get Cause tonight, y'all, we all got a little bit of cowboy deep inside Welcome to the show, welcome to the home Of the world's biggest rodeo Where the stars light up the night underneath that Texas sky Welcome to the show, are you ready for a ride? Yeah, you better buckle up and hold on tight Where the Bayou City streets meet the country road You better buckle up and hold on tight Where the Bayou City streets meet the country roads Where the Bayou City streets meet these country roads Welcome to the show Welcome to the show Yeah, welcome to the show. It's Tropical Country with B-Dog and Lou right here on Tiki Man Radio. We're coming to you live from the Legend Studio here in Ottawa, Tennessee. And our show is broadcasting live on Tiki Man Radio, TikiManRadio.com, and the Tiki Man Radio YouTube channel, courtesy of the MFG Records Tropical Live Cam. Our show is brought to you by and sponsored by JBL Travel Group, the official travel company of Tiki Man Radio. If you're planning your next getaway, whether it be a cruise, an all-inclusive resort, a destination wedding, it doesn't matter what it is. Trust professional Joe Leo, JBL Travel Group. It doesn't cost you any more, so why wouldn't you? They're just one phone call away at 732-831-5200. Goaltending Services, GTS Charters is the premier charter service down in Key West. When you visit the island and you've seen everything there is to do on Duval Street, don't leave without getting out there on the water and experiencing everything Key West truly has to offer. The backcountry, a uh, sandbar, you can go paddleboarding. GTS Charters has you covered, has everything that you need for a great time out there on the water. They are veteran-owned. They are uh, handicap-accessible from the dock. And a bathroom on the boat. Not everybody can say that. And also, when you're down there, you want to check out the uh, Outfitter Store, Gold Tending Services Outfitter Store, located at uh, 5110 Overseas Highway, there above the Hurricane Hole Restaurant at the dock. And uh, for those of you that are watching there on uh, here on the YouTube, here's a nice little video that they sent us. Uh, we're going to be working on putting some audio to that. But there's a little tour of what you can see at the Goaltending Outfitters. As you can see, they have a little bit of everything. They got your sun hats, your sunscreen. They got your nice little wine glasses. And uh, got a little bit of everything. T-shirts, GTS swag. 
And also, yes, the Tiki Man's brand new book is available right there at the GTS Outfitters store. So if you want to know more or you want to book a cruise, we'll give them a call at, uh, here it is, 305-916-0990. There are no better people to work with than Gypsy and Monty down there, and they will take care of you. So make sure you check them out next time you're going to be down visiting Key West. Also, Party Dog Entertainment. Who is Party Dog Entertainment? Well, that would be yours truly. I am the mobile DJ, and I want to create the custom soundtrack for your next event, regardless of what it is. You can give me a call, 423-847-2454, or email me at partydogentertainment at gmail.com. And uh, it appears that uh, I have ruffled some feathers, and we'll talk about that <laughs> here a little bit later. But, of course, uh, Laura Lou is in the house. Hey, y'all. How are you? How are you? I'm good. You excited about tonight? I really am. <laughs> that, is, that is one of my favorite eras of country music is the 90s. Well, I saw your so. I saw your face light up when I'm like, you know what? I got an idea. Yeah. And uh, you were all about it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It was my it was it was my favorite era for sure. Yep, I hear banjos. Yeah. No, which of course, uh, you know, what uh, if you're looting like what are they talking about? Well, you know, I've often heard, you know, when everybody hears that, you know, we're into country music, we go to Nashville, you know, we do all that, and they're like <laughs> I don't listen to country. Country music isn't country anymore. There hasn't been any good country music put out since, like, the 90s. And I'm like, you know, you're right that country music has evolved and changed over the years uh, drastically over the last decade. Yeah. And to where there are, like, so many sub-genres of country music, you really got to search to find country music that, you know, you enjoy and what's good for you. Yeah. And, you know, when it comes to the 90s, I started, you know, we know a lot of, we listen to a lot of country music, but I don't listen to a lot of mainstream country music. Uh, when I'm searching, I am searching out those independent singer songwriters, those artists who are out there who may even have record deals, but they're not getting that mainstream radio airplay because that's not what's pu being pushed out to the public. So when everybody talks about the 90s being the last decade of great country music, I did my research, and there is a slew of artists out there who have that 90s influence and a 90s sound in many of their songs, if not all of them. So I'm like, you know what? I like to call that the new age 90s country. So, I like that. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to put the trop to the side for one night, maybe two, and uh, we're going to go full on country, and we're going to kind of take you a trip back to the 90s, but with current modern day artists that you may or may not have ever heard of so we're gonna have a great time doing that tonight yeah i'm super excited about it verona corona wants to know if it's possible for you to lift the volume just a little bit on i don't know if we'll be running too hot are we li lift the uh, volume on the uh, video no on or er, let's say the radio sounded good when we were yeah broadcasting i don't know verona is it youtube or the radio oh. that the video or, okay. the, or I, the app? I, I put the volume up a little bit. How's okay. that right now? You have to. I know they're on a delay, so she'll have to give me yeah, a little bit. Know. So, because as you've noticed, you know, from the weeks, some I don't without touching anything. Sometimes we're hot. Sometimes we're not. So the studio gremlins. Well, Mo says <laughs> Mo says she can hear us just fine. All right, and of course that so. is the producer. Moni of the big show, uh, Sunday Mornings with the Tiki Man, broadcasted live here on Tiki Man Radio every Sunday at 10 a.m. to 1. And, of course, you can see it every Sunday right here on the Tiki Man Radio YouTube channel, courtesy of that Island J webcam. So if the producer says we're good, we are good. Yep, she says <laughs> you are good. Um, Michael Parks says your mic on the app is a tad distorted too hot. The mic on the, the app? The feed is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, the entire app audio came screaming at seven. Just want you to know. Love you. Well, all. on the app. The feed is fine on the video. The app mm -hmm. audio is a little bit, your mic is a little bit distorted. Okay. We, we Verona says she's watching on YouTube and whatever you did made it way better. Okay. 
All right. Yeah. So, yeah, it, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard here to uh, adjust everything just right yep. when, so, when we're uh, just playing music and we're not talking. Well, YouTube so. is perfect. Um, the uh, app, okay. your mic is a little distorted. Okay, how about so. how about now? I turned, I turned, adjusted everything, turned it way down. Hopefully that's better. Check one. Hello, hello, hello. So hopefully that will be okay. You oh. can you can let us know in that live chat, and we'll uh, we'll correct that as we go. But yeah, you know, and it's funny because again, no settings were touched <laughs> from last week. It's exactly the way it was. Everything was great, sounded great, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know. I, it happens. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it is what it is. We're going to have a great time. You know, that that's the one thing about a live unscripted show. You know, you just got to flow with it. And you, you know, if you have any sound issues, we, we correct them. Yep. That's just the way it is. And, and we've got the best listeners that chime in on YouTube and we tell do. us when something we absolutely, is, we absolutely something's do. off so that we can fix it. We absolutely so we appreciate y'all. So, yeah. Michael Parks, thank you so much. We love so, you, too. If that, if, you'll have to let me know if that sound is okay, Mike, because... Uh, According to my monitor, everything is looking good. So perfect. So he'll just have to let me know. Uh, and we have also experienced though a couple times where they say we're hot, and somebody goes, "Oh, I just need to turn my TV down, or my, <laughs> I need to turn my radio down." So, you know, but uh, that's okay because we check everything and make sure everything is okay. But I tell you what, how about later? We're going to kick it off and kick it off right now. To jump in the music. How about a little Richard Litch? Country isn't country anymore. Love it. As a boy, I remember without fail every Sunday afternoon. My daddy played Merle Haggard loud enough to shake the shingles on the roof. All us kids in the neighborhood Knew every word to mama tried And I've heard it on the radio Not once since the day my daddy died Hank Thompson, Johnny Paycheck, and George Jones Patsy Clyde and Sonny James It's so wrong, the only place I hear him sing in the country hall of fame country radios neglected the legends that made nashville what it is and i bet my country ass that i'll be gone before i hear them played again what a shame country music isn't country anymore How I miss Luke the Drifter When I hear that old lonesome whistle below Twin fiddles and a whining steel guitar Never grace my radio God, I hate the country music isn't country anymore I never thought I'd see the day That pop and rock and roll would rule this town When George Strait hangs his hat up Music City Be down for the count Like when the Okie from Muskogee sang a joint was just a bad place to be She thinks I still care and faded love Are just precious memories Conway, Woody, Johnny Cash, and Kitty Wells And the list goes on and on Gone and long forgotten my mainstream country radio But come Sunday afternoon I'll raise every single window in my house And pay honor to their memories The way my daddy taught me how Yeah, it's 
a shame country music isn't country anymore. How I miss Luke the Drifter when I hear that old lonesome whistle blow. Twin fiddles and a wine steel guitar never graced my radio. Music isn't country anymore. Yeah, it's a sin that country music isn't country anymore. Hey y'all, it's Michelle Myers, your ambassador of all great things. And every Wednesday, beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern, I'm tuned in to a great show, Tropical Country with B-Dog and Lou, streaming live on the Tiki Man radio app or on the YouTube channel. They always have great fun, great music, great conversation. So come on over and tune in. Box. These days, they can just use their phones. Half these boys ain't just a neon rainbow. They're paying their dues from home. Oh, they never tried strawberry wine, never filled time marching on. Don't you miss straight to kill the nights? Just check it and no. Take me back to the 90s when country music was country. Every song told a story Oh, I miss how it used to be Take me back to the good old days Of Alan Jackson and Doyle Street Garth Brooks tearing up the stage Take me back to the 90s Now you ain't heard a good song Till you heard Brooks and Dunn Sing about that neon moon Oh, King George says you'll still make shine Even if she breaks up with you Oh, come on down to the Chattahoochee Where you hear that thunder roll And hey, brother, it gets harder than a hoochie-coochie When we watermelon crawl Take me back to the 90s When country music was country And every song told a story Oh, I miss how it used to be Take me back to the good old days Trish and you were Tim and Faith And Joe Diffie tearing up the stage Take me back to the 90s yeah, When the lights went out in Georgia Fancy never let us down We took all our towns to California And Trey Sackens left the lights on in his house Take me back to the 90s When country music was country And every song told a story Oh, I miss how it used to be Take me back to the good old days Toby Keith and Shania Twain And Travis Tritt tearing up that stage Oh, yeah, and that's exactly what we're going to do tonight. Take you back to the 90s with current country artists. How about that? I love it. All right, I'm just checking my monitor here. I'm moving my mic back here to see if I can, because uh, uh, in well, order, because whenever I cut the cut that back for... Well, they said, everybody is saying now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they said... Um, it suddenly got way louder. It's perfect. Um, Mike Park says it's like the Queen movie where their manager walked into the sound booth at Live Aid and pushed the master <laughs> button all the way up. Rock on, B Dog. <laughs> all right. Is it our? Is it weird? I just want to make sure nope. we are not distorted. Nope. Everybody says so far. Okay. Every, sounds great. Everything is fine. Yeah. Okay. So I'm we're good. good. Looking at my monitor, I am not. You know, 
you know how it goes. We do peak, but we don't stake the peak. And right. That, and right. that is everything is okay. So. Well, so far, so good. All so. right. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. So, so, well, we've already named some names. How about let's give some more shout outs? All right. There. So I do want to give a shout out to Miss Verona Corona. She was the first one on the live chat tonight. Well, hello to Verona. Is she still in Mexico? She is. Wow. And she's having a great time down there. She I'm, is. I'm kind of jealous. I'm way jealous. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see. Moni is out there tonight. Hello well, to hello you. To and Moni. vacuum cleaner Tom. We love vacuum cleaner Tom as well. Absolutely, we do. Um, and then hold on. Oh, oh yeah. Don't we got to give that. him his vacuum cleaner salute to the hardest working man up there in Canada. <laughs> That's right. Um, and then also want to give a big shout out to Miss Maureen. Hey, um, Maureen. Our other Mo. <laughs> our other Mo. Um, let me see. Joe Leo is out there, so hello to you, Joe. Of course, that is our OG sponsor, Joe Leo, JBL Travel Group. And the Mich Michelle Myers, the ambassador. The ambassador of all, of great, all things. great things. And happy anniversary to her and the bodyguard. Yes, and the bodyguard, who's always the... The strong, silent type over there wrote yeah. such a sweet message for her on Facebook. <laughs> oh, was he letting his sensitive side show? He was. <laughs> he was. I do also want to give a shout out, um, an anniversary shout out, to also to Mr. Andrew Dean and his wife, Terry. Oh. Um, it's their anniversary today as well. We're so happy. Hi, guys. And of course, singer, songwriter extraordinaire, Mr. Andrew Dean. Of course, yeah. uh, he... Uh, was on the uh, big show here uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was such a great time hanging out with him and Terry. They yeah. were so much fun. Which, of course, you know, with uh, his band, Andrew Dean and the Farm Machine, you've heard that music right here on Tropical Country as well. That's right. <laughs> and then, of course, Mr. Mike Parks, he's been helping us with the sound adjustments. Over hey, here, Mike. So thank you for that. You know, I like that last name. That's a pretty good last yeah, name. Yeah, he's got a good last name, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. And then I, wonder, I wonder if we're related. You know, I was wondering so, the same thing. You have, to, you have to tell us, Mike, where are you from? Yeah. <laughs> because who knows? We could be related and not even know it. Right? Mm-hmm. Miss um, Patty Campbell, hello to you. Hello to Patty Campbell, the hardest working woman in the music business. Not and too it, much longer. We'll be able so, to see her. I know. Because it's not easy being T, uh, Patty Campbell, as everybody says. And we got to say hello to Tim. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, also... Let me see. Who else? Taylor is out there. Hello, Taylor. Well, hello to my daughter, Taylor. And, of course, have to say hello to the grandkids. That's right. Denver and Everly. And I saw Everly was playing dress up as a princess. Yes. So yes. She is having a good time. And you look absolutely beautiful. She did. <laughs> um, let me see here. Yes, Verona is in um, Mexico for two and a half more weeks. Oh, wow. Okay. And yesterday was vacuum cleaner tom's birthday well somebody else on the list you're gonna have to sing to i know did you even make a list of the birthdays this week i did not how oh. i did see tom's boy, boy you are slacking aren't you i know oh my gosh that's so funny what was that maureen said why do i suddenly want to change my last name to parks <laughs> <laughs> oh my Mo goodness. parks well. <coughs> that's so funny um, also, while we're looking for the birthdays mm -hmm. here, I also want to give a shout out. Um, he's not on the live chat yet, but um, to Mr. Callie McCool, he was out there. Me, hey, of course, that is uh, Mr. McCool from uh, uh, Surf's Up with Mr. McCool and the student crew right here on Tiki Man Radio every Tuesday at noon. Of course, that is Tiki Man Radio's partnership with the students of Antioch High School out there in California, where they bring you the show every week, and they do a bang-up job. And, of course, they have a great uh, a great leader there in Mr. McCool. Yes, they so, do. Thanks for tuning in, Callie. We love your support. And uh, I, wish, I wish I would have time. I have to go back and listen to repeats of your show because, yep. you know, as, as you know, I'm in the same business, so uh, I'm kind of busy around that time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Also, Miss Beth Travers of MFG Records Tropical, Hello the rock star our herself. Other amazing sponsors. And she says, rock on tropical country. And yes, I still have your banner. So <laughs> there is still an MFG Records banner coming. Yeah, we have room for it there, Beth. That's right. Um, also, Miss Tammy Creech. Hello. Well, hello to Tammy. 
and Z and G. Hi, Z guys. Z and G over there in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, let me see. Who else? The lovely Larice is Hello, out there. Hello, Therese and Flaz Noogies. And Mr. Bobby McQueen. Uh, Bobby McQueen. Hey, he's an island truck driver. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Tiffany Green. Hello. Well, hello to Tiffany Green. And Mr. Matt Van Fossen. Of course, Mr. Matt Van Fossen. We know him. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually going to Nashville in a couple Superstar. weeks. Superstar. Yeah, he's going to be playing in Nashville here very, very soon. And, yeah, it'll be a fun uh, time. Of course, he's also uh, gearing up for his... Uh, Big debut on The Voice coming up this fall. So yeah. How exciting is that? That's right. I need to start saving up. <laughs> you do. You do. I got so. a trip to take. So, yeah, yeah, he was one of the first ones to, you know, jump in and love the theme for tonight because yeah. he, he's a big 90s country fan. So, you know, we, we aim to please. That's right. <laughs> um, Oh, yeah. So Mo says, Beth, you'll see them next week at Panama City Beach, and we can do a handoff for the banner. So, Oh, very nice. If yes. you're still out there, Beth, bring that banner with you, will you? Yes. And uh, for those of you who didn't catch our pre-video, I'll just go ahead and make a uh, programming note right now, and then we'll remind you here at the end of the show. There will be no Tropical Country next Wednesday night. Uh, Lou and I, we will be traveling because Thursday is the beginning of the Parrothead City, uh, the Panama City Parrothead Rendezvous. And so we will be traveling down to Panama City Beach and uh, join the Teak Man, the Hippie Chick, and the rest of the crew uh, to broadcast that event live. Uh, it would be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I believe. I cannot wait. So we will have a great time down there. So we're going to put our feet in the sand. It has been way too so. long. And yes, I'll probably be wearing my boots because, you know, the boots do meet the beach right here on Tropical <laughs> Country. And I'll even I'll take a picture to prove it. How about that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and hello to Mike and Jane from Montreal. They're well, out hello, there guys. listening tonight. So hello to you. Well, welcome to the show. Yeah. Um, let me see. Lots of people chiming in tonight, and I love it. Absolutely. I we love it. We love to hear new names and... That's right. And if I'm not sure if G Raff is out there or not, um, she's actually driving and on her way here with little Grayson. And so if you're out there, be safe, baby. I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, of course. They are coming down for a little visit for a few days. Yeah. So, but, you know, she may be delayed because, you know, last time I heard that she made the stop at Bucky's. That's right. And, you know, that place can be, you know. That takes some time. Well, it, <laughs> you can lose some time in there. <laughs> That place, is for real. that place is crazy, and time can pass away before you know it. So. For real. It always adds at least an hour onto my trip. That sounds about right. Sometimes I refuse to stop. An hour because, both ways. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> if I, I know that if I stop, and that's what the last time I went up with the girls, mm -hmm. um, they, Allison and Alicia, both were like, you just passed Bucky's. How do you do that? That's sacrilegious. I'm like, because I want to get to where I'm going, and if I stop, it's going to be at least an hour longer. Because of those of you who don't know, they do have the cleanest bathrooms around. Oh. They are so proud of it, they put it on a billboard. That's so. right. <laughs> and they do. They are pretty nice. That's right. There's no waiting in line for a toilet there. No. <laughs> and it's so funny because there, the last few times I've been there, there has been a line. And I just like walk past all of them. Because they're just standing there because everybody waits for those first, like, three or four stalls. Well, there's, mm -hmm. like, 25 stalls in there. <laughs> All you got to do is walk to the back of the room, and there's a bunch. So It's I a just, long way back there. Yeah, I just bypass them they're all. They're the biggest bathrooms I've ever seen. Right? I'm like, you need to, y'all just need to walk a little farther because I'm not waiting. <laughs> Um, also want to give a big shout out to Mama Park. She's out there tonight. Well, hello to my mama. That's right. Um, she fi she finally made it. She's always like, I she, can never find you. I remembered to share it oh, you on our the Facebook page again. There you go. Because that's the only way she ever finds it. I know. So, you know, she's a little technologically uh, challenged. And I swear the older I get, the more challenged I am. <laughs> I know. Uh, We're starting to turn in those ones. Pay attention to the kids. show. You'll find that out. <laughs> we start, we start uh, calling our kids to come over and help. <laughs> We're turning into our parents. <laughs> Um, also, let me see here. Oh, so Mama Parks wants to hear some good country music tonight. Well, we got nothing but good country music here tonight. That's right. Uh, I, oh, and Mo says she's still going to have your back if you need assistance in Panama City. 
Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Of course, you know, uh, I uh, I'm not t- disabled this week <laughs> or this year. This week. Uh, well, this week. Not uh, this week. Yeah, you know, almost today, but we won't get into that. <laughs> but uh, of course, last year I felt like a king because I had women at my feet at my every beck and call. I even try to get out of the chair. Don't move. What do you want? Yep. So I was a little spoiled. Except me. I'm the nurse. And I was just sitting back like, he'll be fine. Yeah. She's like, he can do it himself. (laughs) But uh, I did yell at you once. I know. But the ladies all took care of me (laughs) last year. So I appreciate that there's still somebody willing to step up and take care (laughs) of me. Because as you can hear, my own wife is going to make me fend for myself. Listen, (laughs) I'm a nurse. If you're not bleeding or dying... It'll be fine. But sometimes us guys like to be babied a little bit. Listen, I I know all about the man flu. It's okay. (laughs) Mr. Jeff McCarty, hello to you. Hey, Jeff. And finally, hello to Mr. Steve Clevenger. Hey, Steve. Nice to see you. Absolutely. Oh, the bodyguard will be keeping an eye out for you, Brian. Oh, is that right? Uh, The bodyguard's going to come at least for Thursday. The bodyguard's not been there yet. I know. Does that mean I got a drinking buddy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you do. All right. Just got to stay clear of Patty and her little beers. I hear, oh, they're, I hear they're dangerous. They are fabulous <laughs> and dangerous, but fabulous. I was actually talking to my boss about it today. We, were, we had a meeting, and my boss just got back from... Um, she just got back from London. Mm-hmm. And so she was... I was asking her... Um, how it went. She was telling me the wine's not as good as France, but the champagne is fabulous. So she brought it up. So I was like, and then she asked about the beach next week. Oh, okay. And so I said, well, speaking of the beach, <laughs> last year I had to take a nap on the beach because I started drinking these little drinks. And I was telling mm. her all about Patty with an eye and her uh, mini beers. So we'll see if I, have, she said to let her know if I have to take a nap again this year. All right. So good to know. Hopefully, uh, We will survive, and of course, we will keep you up to date with all of the happenings. And even though we'll be live on Tiki Man Radio over down there, I'm I'm sure we're gonna probably sneak and do a little, a couple little maybe uh, live videos and and share some pictures of all the action. And of course, the Tiki Man's always releasing, putting videos and pictures because he loves to take a lot of pictures. So you're gonna catch a lot. Follow Tiki Man Radio and us, and you will find and see a lot of uh, stuff going on down there next weekend at Panama City Beach. But before long, uh, but until then, we're going to get back into some country. How about a little uh, Trey Calloway, those neon lines? You're listening to Tropical Country right here on Tiki Man Radio. The first thing I noticed when I walked in was you. Girl, you're shining like a light in a dark, crowded room. Would you mind if I sit down and buy you around? You can tell me to leave when the glass is run out. But it's been by the look in your eyes that we both want the same thing tonight. It's been ten that the whiskey ain't talking us up, and you'll answer the first time I call. If I told you the jukebox was playing for us, would you tell me your Cause you've got the whispers and I've got the ears It ain't no secret what I want to hear Neon lights Tell me those neon lights Will I buy you a diamond, get down on one knee Will we have a wide awake? On the shore by the sea Where we build a big house With a wrap around you Where we travel the world Just to see something new Yeah, we know there's no truth To these words But tonight, girl What can it hurt? Let's pretend that the whiskey Ain't talking to us And you'll answer the first time I call If I told you the jukebox Was playing for us Tell me you're ready to fall Yeah, cause you've got the whispers And I've got the ears It ain't no secret What I wanna hear Me on lights Tell me those me on lights Girl, as long as 
Tim Myers, the bodyguard, a.k.a. the Ice Cream Man, with Tiki Man Radio. I want you to tune in to Tropical Country with B-Dog and Lou, Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Island Time. My mama bought me first car, man, you should have seen me. I was young and running wild, yeah, wild. Messed up tin and a bum AC, but it got me everywhere I wanted to be, and it was mine, oh, my. A truck bed full of 19, man, you should have heard of. Dixieland, the light and the thunder rolls Guys like us made them records turn gold We let them sound, playing them over and over Neon moon, check yes or no Straight pouring out of our radio You think the past is gone and just like that A song will bring you back I remember every word, every line With the Georgia girl and the long leaf pines Letting go, yeah, we let go Had the windows down yelling UGA We were waving that flag, feeling no pain Down a back road, yeah, we yelled out every note Singing Dixie Land of Light and the Thunder Road like us made them records turn gold we let them sound playing them over and over neon moon check yes or no straight pouring out of our radio you think the past is gone and just like that a song will bring you back there ain't no such thing singing Hey y'all, this is B-Dog. And Lou. From Tropical Country, B-Dog and Lou. Here to tell you about our sponsor, JBL Legends Travel. JBL Legends Travel is your full-service travel agent. 
They specialize in cruises, all-inclusive resort vacations, destination weddings, and romantic getaways. They are dedicated to offering you the best prices and advice, all while maintaining an emphasis on customer service. So don't hesitate to contact them so they can start planning your next travel adventure. You can contact them at 732-831-5200 or check them out online at jbltravelgroup.net. Mom needs rest. We need a vacation. Daddy's stressed. We need a vacation. She sings Shania karaoke, makes friends in the bathroom line. Even though she doesn't smoke, she does sometimes. She's the first one on the dance floor, last one taking shots at last call. In her purse with her car keys, there's a sharpie for the bathroom wall. So if she spilled your drink or broke. She's the one yelling, that's my song Coming home with last night's makeup Still on She says the things I'm thinking Crossing lines that I won't cross Don't care who she's turning on You got to watch out for that fake ID. It'll get you in trouble before you know it. <laughs> that is a good friend of ours, Miss Cindy Mack. And of course, before that was Adam Wainwright. Uh, of course, I want to make sure that you hear these names because for those of you who say, I just can't find no great country music because country ain't country anymore. Well, we're giving it to you here tonight for with a bunch of artists that you may hear, may not hear on mainstream radio. But uh, so we're taking you back into the 90s with some good old country music because. Uh, you know, a lot of people said that, you know, 90s was the last decade for great country music. Well, there's a bunch of new artists out there that have that vibe. So Absolutely. You just got to look in the right place. That's right. And and you can't always look at mainstream radio. No. Where did you go? I'm right here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can't always look at mainstream no. radio, unfortunately. No. Um yeah, they don't. They don't always play the music that we think. Because a lot of times, play. you know, they're getting what you know the the labels are pushing out to them. But I yeah. will give a lot of stations uh, a lot of credit. And I know our local uh, terrestrial radio here in Chattanooga, uh, at least one of them, they've actually started pl- uh, circling in a lot of yeah. independent artists within their rotation. So I take that as a big win for the independent artists out oh. there because they're getting their faces out there you know, through social media and they're grabbing some attention. So they're starting to get some terrestrial airplay, which, you know, is great for them because, you know, at the end of the day, they really, they want to make a career doing what they love. Yep. So, uh, you know, and, and yeah. And I think part of that, the radio stations incorporating, um, their, you know, some of those independent artists. Now, a lot of that I think is coming from social media, TikTok in particular, but, um, once they get such a big following, yeah. you really can't ignore them anymore. And mm. there was a group that I 
uh, used to follow, used to be called Power Neck Hillbillies. Mm -hmm. um, and that was really their strategy was that they wanted to really gain a huge regional following. That way, whenever they did go to Nashville and they presented themselves to people, that they had some backing and that they had some kind of something to bargain with, right? Right, right? And so I think a lot of that is happening more and more now that now that we, and we've talked about it several times, now that there's social media, the oh, followers right. that you get really, and even, you know, for, for our friend Matt that um, made it onto The Voice, um, the live shows, it was a big deal. One of the things that they look at is your social media following. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, you can be the best singer in the world, mm. but if you don't have a following on social media, they don't pay mm. as much attention. So right. um, we can thank social media, I think, for giving independent artists a platform. Yeah, and I, you know, I don't know. It just seems like it's, you know, lately it, there are more and more of them showing up on the radio. And I mean, you know, you kind of look at it, you know, not that long ago, a year or so. Cody Johnson was one of the yeah. the biggest independent artists on the planet, and look at him now. Now he's yeah. he's accepting awards and being nominated for everything under the sun, and you know, yeah. and he was floating out there and you know, and it took and him a long time doing to his get there. doing his own thing, and then growing that social media presence and getting the following that he had. You know, I think it pretty much got to the point where he was able to just call his own shots when yeah. it comes to getting a deal. Yeah, and like I said, he's everywhere now. Which, yeah. uh, you know, you want to talk and about Cody mainstream James. artists that is, you know is, has that good country music? Cody Johnson's definitely one of them. Yeah, Cody Jinx. Cody Jinx. He's now yeah. getting some airplay and some mm -hmm. recognition. Um, right. He's been out there for a long time going at it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to see those independent artists really getting. And I remember a few years ago... Um, and it wasn't a country music person, but Chance the Rapper. Mm -hmm. He won an award. Um, I wish I could remember what it was. Um, but he was independent at the time. Mm -hmm. And that was a huge deal. He's the first person that was an independent artist that I can remember that received one of the big awards. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I don't want to speculate, but... Um, yeah, it was a big deal for him. So. Now look at him. He's a judge on The Voice. Right, right. <laughs> so it just goes to show there are, is a lot of talent out there that's not recognized. Um, and yeah, you're absolutely right, Maureen. Um, some radio stations play only popular songs, and they right. play them on a rotation. Mm -hmm. And it's so every couple hours. And I remember I would drive to work and hear you know, five, six, seven songs on my way to work. Right. And then on the way home, I would hear those same five, six, seven songs because the rotation right. made its way around. Right. So. And you got to understand too, you know, those artists, you know, they make their, make a lot of their money. Uh, those awards, how they get nominated for all those awards. It's based upon airplay. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, there's a lot of people pushing their music out there and that's how they get as big as they are uh, is because they have constant, exposure and frequent airplay so yeah you know that's how you make that top 40 and get that number one album is through that but it's all at the same time now i've noticed that I feel like there needs uh, to be some a different. lot of, well a lot of people now and you hear it more and you see it more is that the download charts yes you know number one on apple you know apple used airplay to be the radio yeah. air charts now it's more now the, it's, the streaming now charts. it's on the streaming apps mm -hmm. and, and what are people downloading what are people listening to uh is literally driving a lot of the music and i think that's why we're starting to hear a lot more of those independent artists yep. on mainstream radio is because their music is getting popular they have a following they're out there busting their butts, touring the country, yeah. and promoting themselves on social media uh, to get where they are. Yeah. So, you know, and salute to them for that. Absolutely. And, of course, you know, like I said, on Tiki Man Radio, the station was pretty much built on the independent singers and songwriters. And we want to give people airplay that may not get it anywhere else. And we don't and do the so loop. So that's what we do. We're, we're not so. doing the loop. So nope, nope. you're and not going to hear the same music over and over again. Nope. And and that's the one thing that you know I'm thankful for in the opportunity that we have here on Tiki Man Radio is when it comes to our show, 
I am the programming director. I'm yeah. the one who comes up with the lineup for each and every week of what are we going to play? What you know, you know, a lot of times what we're talking about. That's a lot of times it's up to you because the chat takes a whole different way uh, that way. But when it comes to the music that's in the lineup for that night on the playlist, I'm I have the liberty to do whatever I want to do on that. And, and so far, the Tiki man, he, he's given me a lot of liberties on that. There's only been a couple of times he's like, what the hell was that? But you got to remember, he's not a big country music fan. However, Although I think we're However, I think it. we're winning him over a I little bit on so the country too. scene. So, but, uh, well, Mike Park but says... Mike Park says, amen, 90s and Y2K country was the last great country music era. That's why mm -hmm. I tune in to you and Tiki Man Radio. Oh, thank Keep you. Keep on doing what you do and support these less heard independent artists. We love it. Thank you. That means the world to us, Mike. Thank you so much. And Moni says, it's even like that on a cruise. The poolside band sang the same songs over and over again. And you could check your watch hmm. by them. So, um, <laughs> Mike Park says, oh, working for the evil empire, I can tell you <laughs> stories. Local radio died, your app mm. brought it back to life. So, um, and brother back the joy um, to, of listening to radio, to the radio app. So, uh -oh. Thank Mike, you. Thank you very much. Yes, that is awesome. And I bet you really could tell yeah. us some stories. Absolutely. Um, you know, I tell you, And we're open to talking right. about all of that. We would love to. Absolutely. Because you know, my dream would be able to be do, doing this every day. Yeah. You know, talking about music, playing great music, and introducing the world to artists that they may never have heard of before. Mm -hmm. You know, these people that are trying to gain their traction. And there's several artists that I have here on the uh, playlist tonight that independent artists that we were playing a year ago, but now you're hearing them on the radio. Yep. And some of them are starting to uh, be recognized and uh, nominated for awards. So that is a good thing. But regardless of how you look at it, country. It's going to be all right. Here's David Allen Burns right here on Tropical Country. Long as a tractor's backing up traffic out on an old two lane. A farmer in church in a car hard shirt praying for a little rain. 4-H Club and the FFA County Fair on Saturday An ice cold beer at a catfish fry Country gonna be alright Long as there's some good old boys and some good old girls Somewhere in the middle of a small town world on a Friday night Out where the stars shine bright Long as there's wheels to roll down on dirt road 650 on the radio on a night like this Sharing a moonlight kiss Sweet as strawberry wine Country gonna be alright Long as there's good bird dogs Blue collar jobs of bow town Chevrolet Chug your sweet tea, fried chicken and greens On a plane at your mama's place Rodeo kings, dance hall queens Two-stepping round a sawdust ring Need the neon light Country gonna be alright Long as there's some good old boys And some good old girls Somewhere in the middle of a small town world On a Friday night Out where the stars shine bright as there's wheels to roll down old dirt road 650 on the radio on a night like this Sharing a moonlight kiss Sweet as strawberry wine Country gonna be alright Long as there's some good old boys and some good old girls Somewhere in the middle of a small town world on a Friday night Out where the stars shine bright Long as there's wheels to roll down old dirt road 650 on the radio on a night like this Sharing a moonlight kiss Sweet as strawberry wine 
country gonna be alright. Country gonna be alright. It's your boy Butter here from the show Real Life with Butter and the band Trailer Choir. You should do what I do and tune into Tropical Country with V Dog and Lou on TikiManRadio.com. That's Wednesday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Island Time. Still use that igloo that you bought me. Still keeps them Miller lights cool Still tie a rooster tail like you taught me Hanging crappie off the side of the boat And I know you're up there in heaven On the honky-tonk side of the street But it's Saturday night and I reckon that I'll have two For you and one for me Tonight I'm drinking, buddy Knocking back a cold one like we used to Hope you're thinking of me Just letting you know this one's for you Here's to the good times, dirt roads and trot lines Wish you were with me tonight My drinking, buddy I miss my Stars reminiscing, flipping through remember winds, and I'll be kicking up dust and raising them up till the day that I see you again. I'll be drinking, buddy, knocking back a cold one like we used to. Hope you're thinking of me, just letting you. Like a good time to me Seeing up a prayer to the man upstairs So I hope that you're drinking for free And while you're waiting on me I'll be drinking, buddy And knocking back a cold one like we used to Hope you're thinking of me Letting you know this one's for you Here's to the good times, dirt roads and trout lines Wish you were with me tonight My drinking buddy I miss my drinking buddy My old drinking buddy I miss my drinking buddy Freaking buddy, that's Tyler Booth. I love that song. I know. He and he is a big one that I follow on TikTok yeah. and all of that. And he is all about bringing back true country music. And yes. he, and uh, it, you can hear it in every one of his song, songs that he has out. And uh, yeah, I think he's going to be a, a big deal here for too long. And he's he's been here in Chattanooga. We tried to get him in the studio, yeah. but uh, we just couldn't make it work when he was here because the schedule was just too tight. He really is crazy busy. I mean, he is going everywhere. Um, actually, let me see. His new tour, he's doing a spring tour, Wilder Than a Buck. Um, so he has been, let me see. I think this weekend he's in North Carolina, South Carolina, and then uh, Saturday night he's going to be in Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, he is all over the so, place. And then starting... 
April 19th, he's actually going on tour with Darius Rucker. Oh, how cool is that? Um, he's going to be in Germany, Switzerland, um, then back to Germany, um, and Amsterdam, Manchester in the UK, Newcastle in the UK. So, yeah. When he's we on say a world everywhere, tour. Everywhere, he is everywhere. Yeah. Well, good things come for him. Like I said, I... I started following him on TikTok back yeah. uh, about a year or so ago. And, uh, you know. And he, he is a big old country boy. Oh, he is a country all. boy. You know, <laughs> I, I always love. He's loved, got the mullet. I always love to sit and watch when he does his lives from wherever he's at, his hotel room yeah. or his house. He'll sit there with a big old dip in his mouth yeah. and a guitar on, on his lap and uh, just play requests and play some of his music. And, and he just is who he is. Yeah, he is who he is. And uh, he doesn't pretend to be anything else, which no. we absolutely love that because, you know, when you're original, it comes through in your music. And and when you're a genuine person, that's mm -hmm. the big thing to me. Anybody can fake. And and there's a lot of of musicians and artists and just people in general out there who fake who they are mm -hmm. um, to make a good impression. There's or, the person and then there's the stage person. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I have a feeling Tyler. We've met be, a couple like that. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, not too many, but we have met. Uh yeah artists like that yeah horrible backstage and behind the scenes and the sweetest person ever <laughs> um in on stage and so. we're not no and uh for you think it no we will not name names no so. we can't do absolutely that. <laughs> not so because at the end of the day we all we are fans of their music that's right so but uh you know it's just what it is, you know. Yep. And, you know, it could just be, too. Somebody having thing. a bad day when we were That's there. That's what I was going to say. You know, Maybe, you, you know. don't know. We don't want to throw anybody under the bus because everybody has a bad day now. Absolutely. So, um, and Verona, you're right. Um, Verona says, I miss quite a few of my drinking buddies. Mm -hmm. You and me both. You and me both. Yeah. Um, actually, I, I was thinking about that the other day um, when we had the eclipse. Mm-hmm. Um, and... This might sound lame, but one of my drinking buddies was my daddy. <laughs> that is true. And, yep. um, and so during the eclipse, I remember our last eclipse was like 2017. 2017, yeah. And for Chattanooga at that time, it was, um, we were in the path of totality. Yep, yep. And so I remember it being such a huge deal to my dad. And I was so like strung out and just tired, exhausted, whatever, mm -hmm. that I was like, okay, whatever, it's an eclipse. But I remember my dad specifically saying, please get me a pair of glasses. I want to see this. It's going to be the last time I ever get to see an eclipse. Yeah. And I was thinking, I said, Dad. And he's like, no, they don't come around that often, and you especially don't get a total that That's often. That's right. So we went and got um, him some glasses, and he stood out there on the back deck just in amazement. Um, and I mm. stood out there watching it with him. So this week... Um, we weren't in the path of totality, no. but we were I think supposed we to be. We were like, supposed to be around ninety-seven percent here. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, cloud cover uh, really prevented that, and you I really think didn't we were get the effect. Oh, was it eighty-seven? Yeah, I heard people saying anywhere from eighty-seven to ninety-seven, and yeah. I wasn't sure because just depend upon who you talk it, to. Yeah, I think the news guys said it ended up being eighty-seven percent, mm -hmm. and I was. You know, I was in the house working, so yeah. I kept glancing outside the window, and for a while. Ours, it, it took like a total of like five hours from the time it started to the time it <laughs> It, it seemed ended. like it. Well, it really was, but the actual, you know, the peak of it or whatever mm -hmm. was like two minutes. Yeah. But for those couple hours before, the coloring outside was just a strange. It was. Just a strange yeah. kind of color. But anyway, so yeah, so I was thinking about one of my drinking buddies during the eclipse this year. Cool. And, um, I was at the doctor's office, and uh, the eye doctor, matter of fact, and uh, he was like, yeah, you don't want to go out there and look at that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts your eyes. Come back here so I can look and tell you how blind you are. Right. And how much money you're going <laughs> to And how much money it's going to cost you to get a pair of glasses. Right. Right. Um, Verona says she needs those dates for Germany. Oh, oh. okay. Hang on one second. She's going to do some traveling, huh? Apparently. Wow. And Moni said they were in the 95% range, but it was also cloudy there. Yeah. Ours cleared up just, I mean, just enough that some of the folks were able to see it. Mm -hmm. um, but it only stayed for those few minutes. So let me see if I can round those up for you again, Moni. No, right. she's going to look, I tell you what, she's going to look them up for you, Moni. And uh, before uh, 
While she does that, how about let's get in some great music? How about uh, Matt Castillo? Go get her. on my feet And I take a line by the horns before he gets the best of me They say I'm a real go-getter Whatever the situation But this time I'm not sure that I've lived up to my reputation If I'm a go-getter then why didn't I go get her She put in the drive throw out of my life and I just let her Things right now I should've done better. If I'm such a go-getter, then why didn't I go get her? It's like my legs were paralyzed from the shock of it all. With the deer and the tail light stare, this go-getter let her get gone. There was a single thing I could think to say or do to stop goodbye. Had her mind made up Now the only thought in my mind Is if I'm a go-getter Then why didn't I go get her She put in drive Throw out of my life And I just let her I know a million things right now I should have done better If I'm such a go-getter Then why didn't I go get her Radio is proud to present the JBL Legends Travel Travel Moment with Joe Leo. Take it away, Joe. Good morning, everybody. It's Joe Leo with the JBL Travel Group with this week's Travel Minute. And I want to talk about two things that uh, were on the news this week, also all over social media. First one I want to talk about is a lady who um, had booked a bunch of her clients to go on a cruise. And when she got to the ship, um, all her clients were outside and they tried to check in and they told her that they had no reservations. And she said, well, I'm going to get on the ship and I'm going to check it all out and I'll come back and get you all on. Long story short, she got on the ship. She never got back off again. Apparently, um, she made their payments to a third party uh, payment system and never, ever finished the process of booking their, uh, their cruise. So they had no cruise. Now the fight's going to be the next couple of weeks as to is she going to have to reimburse them for everything they paid. So this is why I always say to people, make sure that you're dealing with a reputable, licensed, accredited, certified travel agency. And you're not dealing with somebody just to fly by night or somebody online. When you call me and you book your cruise, we process your payment direct with the cruise line. We don't go through a third party. It's processed directly with the cruise line. So that was number one story, and I'm sure we'll be hearing more about that in the next coming week. The second story was the Norwegian ship that left eight passengers on an island and pulled away. So, you know, I've talked about this before, and I think I mentioned it on our six uh, costly cruise mistakes. When you go on a ship, you are responsible for being there when the ship is leaving dock. And when it's leaving, when you're getting off the ship to go on an excursion or visit the island, there are signs posted that says all aboard time is 3 o'clock. That's not just a suggestion. 
that's what time they want you back on board because if you got everybody's back on by three o'clock, then by three thirty, quarter to four, they're taking off. They will not wait for you if you decide that you still want to tour the island. I always tell every single one of my clients to make sure that you book your uh, excursions through the cruise line or with a reputable company that guarantees that you will be back at the ship in time for all aboard. And there are a number of them out there. So I don't know what they did if they just grabbed some guy in a taxi cab outside and, and took off and lost, you know, you know, lost um, track of time. But this is your responsibility, and it's your responsibility to get from there to the next port at your expense. Now, there's going to be a big rigmarole about this, and, you know, Norwegian was actually very nice about it, and they said they were going to reimburse them for their costs. But in the cruise contract that you sign when you log on to uh, register your cruise, you, you sign that you're responsible for that. Uh, and the cruise line's also covered for leaving you at the port if you're not back on time, as well as a number of other things. So were these people, uh, was the cruise line right in this instance? Yes, absolutely. Was, were the, are the people right in having a complaint? No. It's your fault for not being back on the ship. I always tell people, listen, if the all aboard time is 3 o'clock, make sure you're back at the ship by 2 o'clock because what's going to happen is, God forbid, you know, you have to allow for those what ifs. What if the vehicle that's taking you back to the ship has a flat tire or it breaks down or you hit traffic? You have that hour buffer to get back to the ship. So those two stories in the news this week about cruising, and I just wanted to uh, clarify them. Uh, the first one with that lady who apparently looks like she ripped these people off of their, their money, and the second one about the cruise line leaving people at the port, which, you know, they were totally in the, in the right to do that. Um, anyway, this is Joe Leo. If you ever had any questions about travel, give me a call at 732-831-5200 or drop me a line at jbltravelgroup at gmail.com. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks, Joe. Always travel with someone you trust. JBL Legends Travel and Joe Leo. Reach out to him at 732-831-5200. The official travel company of Tiki Man Radio.
is Jenny Tolman. What a fun song. I hope everybody is enjoying what I like to call new age 90s country with up and coming artists and independent artists out there that have that 90s country vibe trying to bring back when country was country. How about that? That's right. And Moni says great selection of country music B-Dog. Well thank you. Um, and I have to agree. This is I think this is <laughs> one of the the best playlists that you've had um, well, in a while. So wow. Uh, yeah. So what you're saying is I suck every other week. No, you don't <laughs> suck every other week. This is just the best. You're just better well, than usual this week. Well. You're on it this week. Well, of course, you know, country music is kind of uh, what we do. So right. we are country. But we are country. I, I have to I have to address some, a couple things because, well, I have to say, I kind of stepped in it this week. No. And I kind of ruffled some feathers. No. I'm just trying to be a nice guy, and oh my goodness, I stepped into it. Yes, you did. Actually, kind of two different things. <laughs> <laughs> was, of course, you know, covering our sponsors. One of our wonderful sponsors is Party Dog Entertainment. And, of course, who's Party Dog Entertainment? That would be moi. And, of course, uh, we have discovered... That when we talked about recently about how my uh, email and all that had been uh, blocked on Facebook, that I was reported as a spammer. I think we know why. We now officially kind of figure out that <laughs> why, uh, that it is, uh, as we figured, competitors. Yeah. And because, I tell you what, if you are a mobile DJ out there, um, you know I'm not knocking anybody that does how they do business. And as I, you know, the individual who uh, kind of jumped into me, uh, as I told him, I'm like, I'm not knocking you. And everybody's free to do business the way they want to do business. Yeah. You do you and I do me, boo. That's I right. mean, that's just kind of the way, way things are. Yeah. Um, but how it came about was, you know, charging what people charge to do different DJ events. You know, I figure that everything's like anything out there. Not everybody is about the same price. Right. There's different markets for people. There are, you know, just like when you go to shop for like a wedding dress, you go to people, you go to these shops where they have, you know, the four or five thousand dollar wedding dresses, or you go down to you know, to another uh, place where you can get a, a three hundred dollar dress because you don't have the budget exactly to for all this extravagance, so to speak. Right. So, initially, what happened was, um, you know, I I'm a member of all, a lot of these sites, you know, for uh, brides who are trying to find, you know, the photographers and their venues and, you know, and of course their entertainment, their musical entertainment. And there was a lady on there who had stated that she was like, you know, I'm looking for a DJ for my wedding. I only have around four hundred dollars. So, and immediately. There were DJs on there just started bashing this woman, telling yeah. her, well, uh, you're going to have to come up in your budget. You, uh, you know, you're you never going to find anybody you're never going to find now. a DJ for that. And there was a couple people in there. And that, they were rude, though. Oh, they it were, wasn't just you're not going to find. Anybody. No, they were. It was, rude. They took it very personally, very mm -hmm. disrespectfully. And yeah. they jumped on her like yeah. she had just said something right horrible to absolutely them. i mean the way that they jumped mm. back on her just amazed me yeah. to make her feel like a piece of crap right because she doesn't have money and, and there were people on there who were trying to uh defend her and saying you know hey if this is all she's got to work this yeah this, this is all she's got you know i understand you know i'm sure there's people out there that will help help her or who or somebody in her budget so i chimed in and of course, I told her, I'm um, like, you know, $400 for what the market is, is a little low. However, right. uh, I would be interested in speaking to you to see if I can work with you to try to give you 
what you're looking for. Right. Because at the end of the day, and like I said, you're a DJ out there and you charge $1,400, $2,000, whatever you charge. If you could get that, that money, that's great. That is you. Yeah. And you, if you know you charge that, and I'm sure you have reasons why. Right. You know, if you have an amazing light show and all of you do all these extras, and it, that's great. But some people can't afford all that. Right. And as I said before, I started this business because when our daughter was getting married and trying to price DJs, we were talking about... We couldn't afford what we they... We couldn't afford what they were charging. Yeah. And, of course, they were college students. Right. They can't afford it either. Right. So I'm like, I can get the equipment and do it myself. Obviously, I have the experience. Right. I can do it myself. Yeah. So I started off, I went and rented the equipment and so, you know, figured it was going to be a one-off thing. So we had the wedding reception. Everybody had a fantastic time. And until the manager of the venue where we're at came up to me and told me how good he thought I did. He actually told me, he goes, you're one of the best DJs we've had in here in a long time. Would you be interested in doing more events here? He said, I'd love to, you know, have your information. And because we have people in here all the time. Looking for vendors. Looking for looking for vendors. And he yeah. goes, I would love to be able to recommend you. And I'm like, okay. So when we, that kind of pushed it. And then there was a couple other people who said, hey, we'd hire you. Yeah. So that's when we decided that we were going to go ahead and, and go full force and launch Party Dog Entertainment. But we decided that right from the get-go that we were going to stick to the morals that we started with. And, you know, we have done a life of service between the medical field and public safety. We have spent our lives helping people. Right. And so that's what we decided we were going to do is we our market is we're not going out there we're not looking for the people you know if the people and, and we don't have the huge laser no, light shows no. and all of that do, you know, we do have lighting we, we have lighting but, we have the entertainment we we yeah. can do whatever but what we said we was going to sit out and do is a custom service sit down with a couple and say hey what do you want you tell me what what are your likes what are your dislikes what do you want us to what would you like this played what don't you want played and what liberty do you want us to take when right. it comes to a playlist? Right. You know, we're going we're going to create that custom soundtrack for your event because it is your event. That uh, the event is about you. It's not about the DJ. And of course, you know, MC and give them make that day as special as they've dreamed that it's going to be at a reasonable budget of what they can afford. Right. And I immediately, I got attacked uh, by other DJs. Oh, yeah. On the, I didn't even give a price. I just said I love... And one of them started yelling at you to give a price. Yeah, he's like, well, give us a price. Give us a price. And I'm like... And he even private messaged me and said, yeah, so what are you charging? And I'm like, number one, I never said that told this woman a price. Right. I just told her that she, we'll is, a, she is a little low. However, I would be more than happy to talk to her to see if I can work with her. Right. And immediately I got attacked. And by other DJs. By other DJs. <laughs> by other DJs. Not but, by her. Not by her, by other DJs. And I'm like, number one, I can't give you a price. Because number one, it depends on what you want. It's gonna be based upon what the people need, mm -hmm. where they're at, where they're located. Because right. obviously, you know, I am willing to travel, but I have to do take travel into some consideration. Right. But I'm not out there trying to, I'm not going to say rob people, but I'm not, I'm not focused on, like I told the one guy, I'm not out here trying to get rich. Right. You know, I'm out here to try to help people, provide entertainment, have fun so they can have fun as well. And, you know, I says, if you're worried about if my prices are lower than yours, I says, here's my recommendation for you. And I think the most professional way, instead of jumping me, questioning me what my, how, why, uh, you know, I'm willing to work with somebody who says they can only afford $400. Maybe you should go back and look at your own business model and concentrate on explaining to your customers why you charge what you do. Right. What makes you worth What this makes much? you worth the money that you're asking? Right. Uh, I'm providing, a, a, you know, I'm not trying to take your business. Right. I'm just trying to work out there and help people. And truthfully, and, it's you know, two different, like 
two different markets. I mean, uh, and then I agree with that, and that's my you know, opinion. As if well. they've got, you know, like Buddha, mm-hmm. you know, Buddha's got a huge light show. He's a mm-hmm. he's got years of experience, great equipment, all of these things. Mm-hmm. You know, that's in a different league. We can provide the entertainment and the the custom experience and the some of the lighting and mm-hmm. you know the sound and those kind of things, but. It's not the laser light show and the right. fireworks and, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. We, so, we are going to create a party for you. That's right. We have everything to, to you know, have that experience. And oh, yeah. You're definitely not settling oh, whenever oh, you get no, with Party Dog Entertainment. Oh, no. The only thing no. you're settling on is a so, lower price. And let me tell you, th- <laughs> I have a 10,000 watt stereo system. That's right. I have lighting. It, we have, you know. The wireless microphones and all of that, yep. plus my huge personality. <laughs> so you know, you're going to have a great time. But I was, just, you know, when people came at me and literally told this woman, he goes, "I wouldn't trust, I'd never trust a $500 DJ to do do an event for me." And you know, you getting a, a discount DJ is like getting a sushi at a gas station. Yeah, it really started attacking me. For saying, hey, I'm willing to talk to you and help and try to help and you out. And first of all, you're not a discount <laughs> DJ. No. Um, we're not somebody who's going around for four or $500 and no. doing this. But we are a little more budget friendly than some no. of the other DJs. Yeah. So, yeah, I just, yeah. The one, that, the, it was surprising to yeah. me. Yeah, the one DJ attacked me because we have to take in consideration because if they need wireless microphones, you know, that's a, that's a fee. And they need lighting and that's a fee. And, the, and I'm like, well, I understand that's the way you do business, but guess what? Uh, I have the stereo system. I have the lighting. I have wireless microphones and all of that. And it is not an upcharge. It is the, you get the complete package. Right. When you, you know. That's the way I do business. If you want to do a, you know, a, a, you know, upcharge for everything that they want you to do, that's you. Right. And you, and do if you. people choose to hire you, you do that. But yeah, you know, I'm just out there trying to be trying to do me. Like I Absolutely. told the guy, I says, you do you, you do me. I think everybody is free to do business the way they want to. And, you know, I'm not trying to attack you. And I'd appreciate if you try not to attack me and I'm not trying to take business from you. I'd appreciate that you don't insult me and, and try to. You know, not really trying to take business from me because you don't want the woman's business to begin with. <laughs> right, right. You, you want her to ante up more money. And really, I was surprised so. that he, I can see him trying to attack the competition. Mm. I was very surprised to see the DJs that would personally. attack the person who's asking for the service. Yes. That, to me, attacking anybody is uncalled for. But I was just yeah. really surprised at how quickly, first of all, mm-hmm. and how nasty they got with a potential customer. Right. I mean, that's that's some of the worst customer service. And even if he didn't want her business, mm-hmm. how many people are going to read that post and it's going to make him mm-hmm. and his business look yeah. bad? Yeah, and, and she ended up, she did message me. Oh, good. And she messaged me and then, you know, uh, made the comment that she goes, my budget she's, is flexible i put four hundred dollars down there because i didn't know and but she goes she I, saw who would turn out to be the nice one i am a little bit flexible so then and then she commented on there she goes i'll be in touch good and immediately another uh, one of the ones who were bat was bashing her chimed in and he goes uh, I'm going to DM you. I will do what uh-huh. I, can, I can do to help you. Uh, I don't want you to end up with some discount DJ. Really? And then she posted probably 20 minutes later that she had booked her DJ. So, oh. you know, and I'm like, why would, why? But, you know, it is what it is. Right. So, you know, it's out there. If uh, Party Dog Entertainment does not take off, it doesn't take off. And, uh, you know. And it doesn't matter. We'll, be, it does, we'll it still keep matter. working for friends and family. Yep. and. Because, again, we're not trying to get rich. We're trying to have fun. But I will tell you, when we talk about country isn't country anymore, I'm also on another site where DJs go to ask questions of each other, you know, to share advice, share uh, playlists and things like that, that, you know, their recommendations to help each other. Right. Which I think is fantastic. But somebody actually posted on there and said, listen, uh, I'm getting a lot more requests for country music yeah and country dance music and you know line dance songs so anybody have any recommendations 
Well, thank you for asking. Well, here, <laughs> I didn't offer my, I, I just wanted to sit back and look at the answers. Right. Not one song that any DJ offered was a country song. Really? Not one. Of course, number one was Beyonce. Oh. That was the first one that somebody popped up. But there was, you know, Neo and all, you know, all the hip hop. That's what they were putting out as country line dancing. Yeah. And I'm like, you guys are missing the point. Right. So, you know, I'm like, if that's what, you know, if that is your desire and you're hiring a DJ, don't honestly expect that you're going to get country music. Right. You're going to get what they perceive to be as country music or a country line dance. Right. You know, and, you know, that's what I tell people, you know, I've asked, is country all you do? No. Country music is not all I do. I have been DJing since the 1980s. <laughs> I was born in the 70s. I was raised on six decades of music. And my my musical tastes are vast. Right. So don't put anybody in a box and think, well, this is all they do. It is, you, yeah. Don't look at a box by its cover because uh, somebody may surprise you. Because uh, you know, I can get down. <laughs> I can, and then the Tiki Man and everybody had witnessed, and I know Tim Campbell's out there. He would. I can take you to the club if you need, if that's where you want to go. <laughs> yes, you can. Well, I do. Um, not to change the subject, but I do want to. Um, oh, I just lost it. Mention the Parrothead Rendezvous. Yeah. Um, just posted. Okay. They are doing their annual Jello Shot contest. Mm -hmm. um, which makes me happy. Mm -hmm. um, you know how I am about Jello shots. Mm -hmm. Although I think you drank, you did more of them than I did last year. No, I did not. I w oh, I it was the year before. Yeah. The year before you did. Yeah. Um, but anyway, their Jello shot mm -hmm. contest. If you're planning on participating in that, they did just post the rules up on their Facebook page, mm -hmm. and the contest is going to be on Saturday at one thirty. Oh, very nice. So April 20th at 1.30 will be the jello. Looks like we're going to have a good time. Oh, we're going to have fun. All right. Yeah. Well, now that I've jumped off my soapbox, <laughs> and before we jump back into the music, uh, how about, uh, I know I've seen some things, we talked about birthdays, how about we mention some of the birthdays that we have? Absolutely. I'll go down the list I have, and then you can give me yours. How about that? All right. Well, Katie, uh, Kathy O'Connor's out there. Uh, today is her birthday. And then on the recent birthdays, we had Harry Noonan had a birthday. Uh, one of my old former case, uh, co-workers back in Ohio, Casey Dibel, had a birthday. My nephew, Jeremy Hunley, had a birthday this week. And uh, a friend that we had lost... Uh, a little while back, a good friend of Golden's, uh, Tiny, had a, it was That's his right. his uh, heavenly birthday was uh, yesterday as or three days ago. Uh, but uh, we also uh, have uh, birthdays that are coming up within the next couple of days to recognize. Yes, yeah, so we um, vacuum cleaner Tom uh, had a birthday. So happy birthday to you, <laughs> and then. I also did receive a message from the beautiful. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get to the we message. We know so many beautiful people. We do. <laughs> no, I'm really trying to get to the message because um, I don't want to mess it up. So hang on just a second. Okay. I'm so sorry. I know. Y'all know how I I'll am. I'll wait. <laughs> Y'all know how I am. <laughs> see. You don't have it, do you? I do. So, um, the beautiful Sean Crowley um, says that um, tomorrow is the beautiful Bill Crowley's uh, birthday. So, happy heavenly birthday to the beautiful Bill Crowley. Absolutely. Um, and they will be celebrating his life this coming weekend. Yes. So, um, wish we could make it, Sean, and... Uh, just know we'll be thinking of y'all, and we will have a drink for Bill here. That's right. So. And uh, oh, several. I think Tiki Man Radio will be well uh, represented down there. Uh, we yes. have a lot of lot of uh, people going down. I believe Tiki Man's even heading down that way. I think so. Last time I and thought I heard. So uh, Uncle but, Alex uh, is going over, I know. Mm -hmm. so, um, but, uh, Sean, we send you our most of our love and our, our thoughts, and we hope to see you soon so we can just hug your, hug your neck. 
Okay. That's right. All right. Well, hey, to jump back in that music, you know, when you go back and talk about the 1990s in 90s country. Oh, wait, you got more? No, but I promised Sean that I would sing for Bill. Oh, well, hold on. I didn't realize we were singing tonight. Well, we got to sing for oh, him. It's hold, vacuum cleaner talk hold on, Bill. Hold on. Let me shut the saloon door. Go right ahead. All right. All right. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear everyone. Including Bill. Especially Including Bill. Bill. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And lots of people on the chat <laughs> saying that they're going to have a drink for Bill this weekend as well, Sean. So. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Am I good to go now? You're good to go. All right. Good to go. Because we're going to jump back into the music because I can tell you what, time is flying because we're having a great time right here on Tropical Country tonight. But like I said, when it comes to the 1990s, you know, that vibe of uh, topic and subject matters, you cannot have a song without talking about Grandpa. And Dylan Carmichael does that. I'd call Grandpa. It was 25 cents at the gumball machine And that's 25 more than you have when you're three It blew my mind how a quarter appeared From behind his ear Spinner bait burned a hole in my Levi's The lake was too far for a bike ride When mama was busy and daddy was gone I'd call grandpa he was Superman in overalls Knew every old Don Williams song Had a fight inside he left behind the name in 67 If there was a landline That ran right to the countryside of heaven And I had one call I'd call Grandpa Started thinking about a white picket dream Picking out that pawn shop ring I was sure it was one of them things He'd be the first I'd call Yeah, I'd call Grandpa He was Superman in overalls Knew every old Don Williams song Had a fight inside He left behind the name in 67 there was a landline that ran right to the countryside of heaven, and I had one call. Yeah, I call Grandpa. Talk about Grandma. Tell him I still drive his truck. Hell, I might not ever. Gave 
of cigarettes Cause I found me something better to smoke I quit that local bar Cause I found me a honky-tonk scene I'm just a good old boy Looking for the next new thing This is b And Lou. From Tropical Country, right here on Tiki Man Radio. Next time you take a trip down to the Key West and you want to get out on the water, we want you to check out our sponsor, Goaltending Services. Goaltending Services is the premier charter service in Key West. They offer a wide range of amenities. Goaltending Services is also a veteran-owned company, and they take care of their veterans and active duty personnel by offering a 25% discount with your veteran or military ID. For more about goaltending services, give them a call at 305-916-0990 or look them up online at goaltendingservices.com. He'll be the 
that's Emily and Roberts. How about that one? I'm excited about that one. <laughs> I know you heard that one when I was playing it, and you're like, yep. is that one going in? And I'm like, absolutely. Yeah, that's one of them that we were actually emailed um, from some of the promotions folks in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And uh, shortly after we talked about that song, I emailed them, and mm -hmm. um, we're talking to see if we can get her, um, get a date for her to come for the show That's right we're, so we're working fingers on, crossed we're working on several artists <laughs> we are we are and actually um yeah we have several artists in the mm -hmm. works um it's a little bit hard sometimes in the summer because you know that's tour season mm -hmm. and um but we do have some coming so um let me see here i just want to see if i can say who we've got coming so Mm -hmm. May 15th. Okay. So May 15th, so about a month from now, um, in about four weeks, we've got Aubrey Wallet going to join us on video. Mm -hmm. um, and then on May 29th, we've got Gary Burke is coming in studio. And Absolutely. he's been working with um, our other good friend. Tim Sharon. Tim Sharon. Mm -hmm. um, and so... He's going to be in studio. Gary will be. Um, and then, of course, we're going to reschedule for uh, Dave Freeman. That's right. Um, he's going to have some music coming out in the very new near future mm -hmm. um, that MFG Tropical is working with him on. And he didn't want to come in and play it before the music is ready. So um, we're going to reschedule, and then he's going to play us some of the new tunes that he's been working on. Not to on. mention the weather was a little hectic that night. Oh, the weather was <laughs> crazy that yeah. whole week. So. Tornadoes and all that stuff. And speaking of that, um, I just want to put this out there. So um, to all of our friends down in Louisiana, um, mm -hmm. around the New Orleans area, New Orleans got is getting um, slammed again with weather. Um, and I just uh, saw a, a video where our good friend Dan Ware is there. Oh, he, he okay. Sh he shared a video. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it said that New Orleans um, got a month of rain in seven hours. Wow. Today. So um, tornadoes, all kinds of things going on down in, in around New Orleans. Mm -hmm. um, and then even over in the panhandle, there's a... Um, in the Florida Panhandle, there is a risk of severe weather and tornadoes tonight. So y'all stay safe and um, take care of yourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. And then um, one more feel-good story for the night. Okay. We can always feel a little better. That's right. So I do have a feel-good story here. It looks like um, North Carolina is the place to play the instant lottery. I'm just saying. You know, Coastal Carolina is like... I know. My place. I know. <laughs> and we're hoping to go this summer. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so a gentleman from Charlotte mm -hmm. uh, played a $20 instant lottery ticket and won $992,574. Wow. Um, he said he's been playing that same instant lottery game for a while at the same store. So who knows? He may have spent that much over the years, <laughs> but it's hard um, to tell. it is. So I guess at the time of the win, they must do their lottery a little bit differently. At the time of the win, the jackpot had reached 792000 mm -hmm. But since he bought a $20 ticket, he received 100% of the jackpot plus $200,000. Hmm. So I don't know how that works on an instant ticket, but um, maybe they're giving them two hundred thousand to make up for the taxes they're going to take later. <laughs> you know what? Maybe <laughs> that might be true for real. Um, but he says he's going to. Oh no! Because after taxes, or yeah, I guess so. Because after taxes, he took home seven hundred nine thousand, mm. um, and he is planning to help a family member um, who has some medical issues. So well, I thought that was sweet. That is awesome. Yeah. Um, but then again, there's um, someone else from North Carolina won a million dollars off of a $2 ticket. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Somebody right around here in Chattanooga won the lottery not yes, that long ago. The town that we, yeah. Yeah, They're from yeah, here. The, one t- a million. the town in which we live. Right. <laughs> and they bought the ticket at one of the gas stations that we stop at. Uh-huh. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, they won a million dollars just last yeah. week. Yep. In town, so. That just tells me. Can't win if you don't play, I guess. Well, that's the first thing. <laughs> right. It just wasn't in our destiny. That's right. We're destined <laughs> to be poor. That's what that is. <laughs> but, you know... If I was a millionaire, though, you know, I may would be broke. I may be broke in the wallet, but I am rich beyond belief with everything I've been blessed with. That's so, right. You know, same here. Yeah, you know, money don't buy you happiness. It buy you a bunch of crap that you can't take with you when you go. But you know, happiness is the one thing that everybody can enjoy no matter what. I'd give it my best shot, though. Yeah. I'm just so. saying. But I, I would still you know be broke because I would buy stuff Normally, for everybody. You know what I, you'd say is, you know, only only poor people would say that. So. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's what a rich person would say. That's right. All right. Anything else that you got real quick? Uh, yeah. I want to give props to the bodyguard. I just got a picture from um, the ambassador. Oh, yeah? The bodyguard surprised Michelle for their anniversary with a sonic ice maker, like the sonic little pellets to make ice. to make the world's greatest ice. Yes, it's, I didn't know Sonic made an ice maker. Well, it's not Sonic brand, but it's Sonic ice. It makes them little pellets. Yeah. So, so we're gonna have to mm. we're gonna have to experience it at the party. Of course, we will be over there uh, coming up uh, the July Fourth weekend. We'll be uh, over there at the B A R with the uh, ambassador and bodyguard retreat, and uh, yeah. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Going to have a good time. Of course, Party Dog Entertainment is going to be rocking the house out there in the BAR. So we're going to have a good time. That's right. <laughs> so anything else we want to cover? Because I want to get some more music in. Because Nope, I'm going to let you uh, play the music. You got the, right. you got the kick-ass playlist. I'm going to tell so. you what. When you talk about the uh, New Age 90s, uh, you can't have a show without including this next guy who has possibly become if he's not my top new favorite artist he's very very close to it and that's Mr. Zach Top Sounds Like the Radio Next to an old beard 
lineup for Tiki Man Radio. Sundays, it's the big show. Sunday mornings with the Tiki Man starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Island Time. Streaming live on the Island J Live Cam from the Chocolate Bar Studios in Harrison Bay. Come over and be part of the show. After the big show, it's Tuesday on the Island Replay with B-Man and Michelle. Recorded live from Key West. Later that afternoon, it's 5 o'clock somewhere with Rick the Stick. You never know where he's going to pop up. On the road with Rick the Stick. Starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Island Time every Sunday. Mondays from 6 to 8 p.m., get on the peace train with Ed the Train Man, live from Crown Point, Indiana. Tuesday at noon, it surfs up with Callie McCool and the student crew. Tiki Man Radio's internship from Antioch High School in California. The kids are learning how to produce and do their own show. Compliments of Tiki Man Radio. It's the Lunchbox Special with Surfs Up every Tuesday at noon, Eastern Island Time. Wednesdays, it's where the boots meet the bench with Tropical Country with B-Dog and Lou. Streaming live on the MFG Tropical Live Cam from the Chocolate Bar Studios from 7 to 9 p.m. Make sure you catch the Friday kickoff with Jen Shin from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. every Friday. Jen kicks off the weekend and tells you all the activities coming up on Tiki Man Radio and spotlights all of our sponsors. That's the Friday kickoff with Jen Shin every Friday from 11 to 1 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Friday starting at 8 p.m., it's Coastal Confession. Sessions with B-Man and Michelle from the Beachy Shell Studios in Key West, live every Friday, having some fun with their friends and sharing great music. Saturdays, take a trip back in time with Jukebox Saturday mornings starting at midnight and going to noon. This is where we open up the massive archives of the radio station and take you back to that old shagging music. That's your weekly lineup for Tiki Man Radio. Make sure you tune in to all these great shows and keep listening to Tiki Man Radio and have some fun. That's right. Have some fun right here on Tiki Man Radio. Great lineup all week long. And, uh, you know, you just can't find any better music anywhere on the planet than Tiki Man Radio. I hope everybody has had a great time taking a step back to the 90s with modern day artists. And, uh, of course, country music is not dead. You just need to know where to look. That's right. (laughs) That's right. I want to give, before we go, um, I want to give a big shout out and congratulations to our friends Neon Union. Yes. Neon Union, um, we talked about them last year at our, um, at the CMA Fest recap shows. Of course, Leo Brooks, he has performed at the Tiki Man Radio uh, Singer Songwriter Showcase down at Key West. That's right. Yeah. Um, So Neon Union has been nominated for New Duo Group of the Year by the ACM Awards. Yeah, those boys are going somewhere. So, yes, yeah, so that is a big <laughs> deal. The Academy of Country Music has recognized them and nominated them. I know. Um, and the show is going to air, um, the ACM Awards will air May 16th. Nice. And it sounds like they're, it's going to air on Prime. Hmm. So that's different. But, but yeah, so um, tune in to see if our friends, yeah. Neon Union, um, if they win. Absolutely. Of course, uh, we got to see those guys and hug their necks down there in Nashville. Yeah, super good uh, guys. During CMA Fest last year. Uh, yep. And uh, hopefully uh, we will be making our way to CMA Fest again this year. Yes. And uh, see what more we can get into. That's right. And mm-hmm. on a side note, Tyler Booth is also going to be back at CMA Fest this year. Very nice. Um, so looking forward to watching him perform again, too. Yeah. Along with lots and lots of others, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right. We'll do that. We'll do so that. So that, that'll... We'll do a pre-show and a post-show. Oh, my show. God. Because CMA, yeah, when it gets CMA Fest season, uh, it is uh, all 
<laughs> crazy and uh, a lot of miles put on her feet. So. Oh, yeah. But uh, we'll have a good time. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, we got some friends we got to hook up with over there and That's some right. great music to hear when we'll keep everybody up to date when uh, that time comes. But uh, That's right. anything else you want to leave anybody with before we go this week? No, actually, I think I have said it all tonight. And all right. again, congratulations on a great playlist. I really well, enjoyed you. tonight's show and the music that was on tonight's show. And I think I have become a new fan of several artists. Tonight. <laughs> so, um, well, you know, I always every week, you know, because we're on a coastal Americana radio station. So I always try to give a good mix of the the. Uh, Trop and the coastal, the coastal in the country. That's right. And uh, so try to mix it in so there's something for everybody. Uh, and because I don't want to ever alienate everybody. But, yeah. uh, we, you know, we had talked about it and I'd heard some people talk about it. And I'm like, nope, I need to take a show and I need to just to show you country music is not dead. That's right. It's not all about Beyonce. No, you just <laughs> you just need to know where to look. And sometimes it's to turn off that mainstream radio and tune in to someplace like tropical country right here on tiki man radio and uh, we'll play some of that good music and i i always i always fiddle it in a little here and there yeah. and i'll tell you what, we didn't even touch the entire playlist tonight well that just means uh, we've got so, more for next time. so uh and uh i had artists that i literally had to leave out because i'm like there's no way i'm going to get there so well, the good news is we I have can, a weekly radio show i know right so when we get back from panama city How about, beach we can continue if, if, if i tell you what Chime in on the chat. Let us know in on our uh, Facebook group, uh, Tropical Country, B-Dog and Lou. Give us a bit. If you want more real country music, we'll give it to you right here. So you just let us know what you want to hear. and Because, uh, you know, I am the DJ, and it's all about the customer. So it's all about what you want to hear. So how about that? That's right. All right. And I appreciate everybody who has chimed in and shown us some love and support. Yeah, you know, I'm just one discount DJ trying to live out a dream. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that joke is going to run a while. So, But that's a great line. I know, right? Yeah. Right. So... But, and thank you to everybody out there in radio mm. land. Um, we don't mm. want to forget about you no. because we are no. a radio station, nope. for God's sake. And, of course, we have to thank our sponsors. Absolutely. JBL Travel Group and Gold Tending Services, GTS Charters, and also GTS Outfitters down in Key West, Florida. And certainly not la least, MFG Records for sponsoring yes. this live cam on YouTube every week. And, of course, we always have to thank the Tiki Man and the Hippie Chick for giving us this opportunity right here on uh, yeah. tro Tropical Country on Tiki Man Radio. Uh, of course, we are into our fourth year, and uh, we began our fourth season. Three years in, we began our fourth season. Yep. I always love to mess with the Tiki Man because he's like, what is it? I'm like, so it's just That's like right. TV. We're on TV. So we go by TV time. We're under our fourth season. So. Right. right. But uh, until next we next week, that's one thing. Next week, yes. there will be no tropical country uh, next week because we will be on the road heading down to PCB for the uh, Panama City Parrothead Rendezvous, which will be aired live on Tiki Man Radio starting Thursday through Saturday, and a lot of great acts are taking the stage down there. So make sure you tune in to Tiki Man Radio for all that action. Uh, as far as I know, it will be on the radio only, unless somehow Tiki Man just surprises all of us and goes, hey, we're on camera. I don't know. You just never, <laughs> you know. never know. You never know about him. But until then, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We will see you here in two weeks. Take care, everybody. Good night, everybody. Fun. But the set list is all done The night was very loud and you've been a good crowd But you know it's time to run You've all been very kind, thank you for your time You put me to the test as I try to address All of your requests for the night As we look to the moon and the manager I don't ever want to end, but for now, my friend's last song, last call. A spirit with 
this clientele Who had the drinks are flowing well A beer sent from the bar and a healthy tip jar A handsome tunes that I can sell It's been a cool room but it's ending too soon And they remember to tip the bartender As they surrender to the town Sing to the lyrics that they used to recall Anytime I gotta say those words Oh no, last song, last call Some came as ones and left by two Dancing in their shoes I break down the gear As we wind it up here After the last song That I choose It's the last rhyme near closing time The fire round poured As it strung the last chords And the guitar returns to the case Needless to say It was a pleasure To play for you all Toast to everyone as I finally say last song, last call. Here's a toast to everyone as I finally say.